Ugly Dolls has been on my radar probably since it came out in 2019. I was quite curious because I really liked the style of the animation as displayed in the poster and the marketing, but I wasn't really sure what the film was about, so I just never got round to watching it. And finally, I decided to give it a go. I'm, I'm kind of pleased that I did, but I actually rate it more highly than the average rating on IMDb. The average rating is 5 out of 10 across 6,000 reviews. I think it was actually a lot better than that. This was directed by Kelly Asbury, or Asbury, written by Alison Peck, Robert Rodriguez, David Horvath, and other people. And the voice cast is actually a lot more notable than I was expecting, including, but not limited to, Pitbull, Ice-T, Kelly Clarkson, Wanda Sykes, Emma Roberts, Jane Lynch, Charlie XCX, uh, Nick Jonas. The, the list goes on. A really great voice cast. Uh, admittedly, when I watched it, I hadn't looked at the voice cast and didn't actually recognise any of those voices, but it's pretty impressive once you look back at it. So basically, this is an animated film about these so-called ugly dolls. They look, as I'm sure you can see from the poster art, I guess like cute little monsters. And they want to have their chance in the other world and become a child's beloved doll, their favourite toy. And they, a few of them, try and go on this adventure to get that. And when they go there, they discover this world of dolls that look like dolls. You know, they look like mini humans, I guess. And the ugly dolls begin to realise that they are not beautiful. Or at least, you know, they're not conventionally beautiful and they're not what children might want to play with but they go on this adventure to realize that it's you know it's what's on the inside that counts and you know who you are as a person is what matters most not what you look like and I, I really enjoy it as far as messages go it's obviously nothing unique we see this time and time again in children's films but we can never have that message too frequently and you know I thought the development of the narrative was really great it didn't take us too long to get to the world with the real dolls, or the, you know, traditional dolls. Um, but we had enough time to get to know people and to set up so we were familiar with who we were journeying with. And then we won once we got to the other place, I think the narrative continued to progress really nicely. I like the animation style, I like the mix of character personalities. I really wasn't expecting any singing in this, but the musical aspect that existed uh, I thought was really good, quite engaging. I can't fault it. I'm not saying it was perfect. It's not my favourite film I've ever seen. I'm not exactly giving it 10 out of 10. But I'd give it a happy 6 out of 10, which for me is a pretty average sort of, yes, I really enjoyed it, would definitely recommend it, probably won't watch it again rating. But it really settled my curiosity. I'm really thrilled with the animation style. I found it really comforting and warm and fuzzy and brightly coloured and quite magical and kind of childlike, which I really enjoyed. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that's quite easy to watch, but also pretty meaningful. I don't know why it's been rated quite as low as 5 out of 10 on average. Personally, I think it was worth the wait. Um, yeah, as I said, there was nothing about it that particularly what made me want to watch it other than the curiosity about the animation style. But now that I've watched it, I can say it was worth the wait. Ugly Dolls is much better than I predicted.